Well, the ingredients in the Derby cocktail, always intoxicating, often inspiring. A real high for the winners, a big headache in defeat. And there have been uh, several of those for Manchester City down the years. Here's McClare in sharply. Ryan Giggs back on the left-hand side with a return of Hughes. Good control from Cantona. Challenged quickly by Ian Brightwell, a centre-back these days. And straight away, City getting into a wideish position, which rapidly is becoming more central through Peter B. Grit. Feet supporting him. Steve Lomas looking for Quinn, finding Quinn. It's a corner for Manchester City. Inside the first minute, nice turn by Quinn. Well, if the remaining 89 minutes, Mark, they're as good as the opening one. We'll, we've got some game ahead of us, I tell you. Beagle's cross. Ince getting to it. He's trying to Harris edge here, he's certainly done that. And we've seen some of the flow of the football, now we're seeing some of the fight in the contest, and Keith Cooper stands back, and he's clearly made up his mind about what to do here, he's calling Hughes back to him. Well, no surprise, this is a derby, and the one thing Mark Hughes is, is a committed, committed player. They get in a little bit of a tangle there, the legs are flying everywhere, people are flying in, one or two have a little nick. But he's quickly stamping his authority on the game, the referee. He did have a little nick there, Mark Hughes. Keith Cooper's having none of it. Cantona. Keith's still off the pitch, but on his feet. Mitchell will hurt him, playing it forward for Walsh. First time we've really seen a very informed forward. A bit through for Quinn. I think think Flickcroft got a bit too close to the City striker. It's exactly what he did because it was a promising move. Good combination for the front two. Great run from Walsh initially. Nice ball into Quinn, but Flickcroft too close. That's big, great. And well held by Schmeichel. It needed to be held. Diggs is back on. Quick from Cantona. And certainly the game is very much on here. Diggs trying to get the right kind of revenge. Cantona is unlocked. Well, 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 he comes back on, you're wondering about his ankle, whether he's still feeling it. And he produces one of the best crosses he's played in a long time. Absolutely perfect for Cantona. We were disappointed, the Frenchman, that he didn't hit the target there. Test the goalkeeper early, test the man who's bound to be a bit nervous in this atmosphere. This will be a good contest tonight. The green key. A big win for the moment. Can't be better with his particular opponent. Turns keen again. And let's fly! Schmeichel stuck up a hand, whether it would have gone over in any case, but he couldn't take that risk, and no. it's a corner. Beagle does this such a lot. When you think he's going to cross it, then he pulls it back. He strikes it very well, it is good over. But if you're the goalkeeper, you can't take a chance. You've got to deal with it, and then worry about whether it was going to dip in or not. Mitchell in with number 21, right back. Matching gigs for the Welsh international there. <laughs> Keith Cooper trying to uh, keep the advantage going. He's unlucky, the referee, isn't he? He's so keen to keep it going. And Edge and the tackle from Paul Ince coming up, just lost his balance there. And he tries and he tries, but Sniper got him in the end. Some of it peeling infield. Letting fly. This is a very confident looking Manchester City at the moment. They look as if they all want to play, Mark. They look as if they're enjoying their football at the moment. They all want to get involved, they all want to touch the ball. And Nick Summerby trying to show here that he's not just his father's son, that he plays at this level because of his own talent, and that's obviously true. Oh. Nice cross, held up by 
Hughes trying to tee up Giggs, looking for a swerve up. It did bend, but was always stabbing a little too wide. He's a little bit unlucky, Mark Hughes. He really would have been better off with a runner from the central midfield area as it was played into him. You always know he's going to get hold of these. Made for him. But what he didn't have was a runner from there. Look, Paul Lynch is trying, but he's too far away. And the only option open was Giggs at a difficult angle, who tried his best to bend this in. But no one coming from the middle. It was always a difficult one for Ryan Giggs. Giggs for Hughes. Two to the right, but it goes back to the left to Giggs. Cantona left it for Kanchelskis. City played handball. Not given. Cantona spotted Keane. But Bigri uh, had also spotted it and marked it. That's good play from Peter Bigri. That's what he has to do tonight. Uh, it's part of his job. Not only going forward, but tracking the runner Roy Keane when he made that one forward. Well, if you uh, remember Andy back in April, the match here, City made a reasonable start then, but uh, very much finished second in the contest, so they won't be taking anything for granted here at this early stage. Especially with Cantona around. Cantona scores! Oh, that's a magnificent goal, Martin. A really magnificent goal. It's a magnificent pull from Cantona. But having done that, the ball still has to be delivered. Now watch the way he pulls behind Brightwell. He loses him. But look at the way Kachelska delivers it. It wasn't an easy take. Almost behind him, but the skillful way he drags it. Almost back heels it there into his path, and that's a great finish, that is a superb goal. Well, a hundred years of these derbies in league football, and I would venture to say there haven't been many goals of that quality, and there have been some very good ones in that time, and here we have the Russian international and the Frenchman combining absolutely superbly. Well, he seemed to have his shooting boots on at Villa Park. And that was more of the same. Nothing wrong with this. There's plenty power and venom in this shot. All he wanted it to do was just bend a little. Lovely strike. Lovely strike. chance from Roy Keane, not the first one, but the goalkeeper made a very, very good save. Great run from Keane, and of course he's picked out beautifully, that's a good strike, but it's a good save. But just here I thought, go on, hit the target again, you must score. And that's the thing that he didn't do. Watch the goalkeeper, stays big, gets a pie thing, hit the target. Oh. Good chance. Big run. Oh, Lomax, Schmeichel's come, Lomax has got the ball past him, but with not sufficient power, Steve Bruce filled in behind the goalkeeper. And suddenly Kanchelskis is away. Cantona, right while the defender. And he was uh, holding him. And even Terry Phelan, as an opponent, says, come on, calm down here. Right, well, certainly stood his corner. Yeah, they're running here. I think you see here Eric Cantona there as the left arm comes round and he grabs Ian Brightwell. And then he returns a compliment by grabbing Eric Cantona. And I think the first offence committed by the Frenchman. But this is a low mass run. Now, watch this, it's a good run. And Parson doesn't quite get there. And unfortunately for Steve Lomas, there's not enough on the ball to take it past. Steve Bruce's. Last one by Kuwait. Lemas misses the international next week. Northern Ireland against the Republic of Ireland through so, uh, suspension. It's very much in Brian Hamilton's plans, I can assure you of that. Half a dozen caps already. Kachelskis. 
Milan are sliding in and getting in contact with the ball. Chelsea subsequently flying through the air. Well, at the moment, Manchester United are bossing the game up. Restricted service to Manchester City's wide men, and now they're asking plenty of questions of their own. That's Cantona, Kachowskis, the compliment returned. 2 0. Well, I think that's been on the cards. I think they've been bossing the game, they've been dominating possession, they've been confident, and look at this. Again, the stretch at the back, Manchester City. Takes his time, assesses the situation, and that's a lovely spot. But Terry Fuel gets unlucky, he gets a block, and it's the deflection that takes it back past the goalkeeper. But again, Cantona sucked him in, sucked the full back in, and only released it when he was ready. Simon Tracy going to his right to cover the original shot, suddenly finding that he was snooping. Does he do that deliberately, Andy Kinchelsea? Does he hit one through Phil King's legs on Sunday, now he's hit one through Terry Fulin's legs tonight. <laughs> he's certainly having a successful spell as a goal scorer, Kanchelski, and of course, very much the maker of the opening goal tonight. Manchester City experiencing at the moment that all too familiar sinking feeling at Old Trafford. It's not the locals that are doing the damage, but the foreign invasion here. It was almost a thank you for that wonderful ball, Andre. <laughs> you have a shot yourself this time. But he's got problems here. This is a, an all too familiar feeling away from home for City this year, Martin. And they scored three in their six previous Premiership away games this season. And then back pedalling again. Kachelskis again. Well saved, Tracy. Really in the firing line now, the old lone goalkeeper. And this is a good save. Kaczewski showing us that he's quite at home to come in on his left side as well as his right. It's a good height for the keeper to deal with. It's reflecting the confidence for Manchester United. They've got a free kick. They've got to steady the ship, City. They've got to just compose themselves. And this is unusual. No Dennis Sunderland round the ball. They said the, uh, the foreigners are the ones on songs <laughs> and Kachowskis and Cantona are lining it up. Cantona just walked away now. It's Kachowskis. Oh, it swerved. He clung onto it very well, Simon Tracy. Oh, he didn't have. There was plenty of power in this. And I think you see Tracy go to his right. Suddenly it's away the other way. Oh, didn't he do well to keep hold of it, the goalkeeper? Well, he's been through some Sheffield derbies in his time. The fierce end of facing Manchester United in Manchester City's goal. Two goals here. Cantona scoring the first, made for him by Kanchelskis. The roles reversed just before half time. Manchester City really up against it here. Some red hot red slow for United. They lead by two goals to nil. Well, Manchester United's powerful play. Forcing the issue so far here, Andy. Well, without a doubt, particularly in the, the back half of the, of, of the first half, Mark. Cantona and Kanchelskis in tandem again, straight away. Hughes! What a ball. What a ball, and he knows it. And he knows it, Mark Hughes. I know he was under pressure. I think it was from Richard Edgehill. It was the full-back tucks in there. He's in a much better position there. But Hughes, I fancied strongly, Mark, because he's up, he gets a full head on it, but he just doesn't direct it onto the target. It's a wonderful cross from Andrei Kanchelskis. City, you feel, really need to dig deep into the reserves of character here. But let's get some half-time news from Nick Collins. Nick. Had a quick word with Brian Horton at half-time, Martin, uh, and he reckons that the Manchester City have given the ball away too often, they've not passed well enough, and in short, they've made it too easy for Manchester United. And just to confirm that uh, Ryan Giggs did go off because of that ankle injury. Thanks, Nick. Well, United would like to feel that they've forced those errors. There's Captain Arsflick, Kanchelskis is away again. And he gets the third, and lucky Tracy, the ball came back off the goalkeeper. 
Andre Kanchelskis. Well, Manchester United are the club that spread their gospel all around the world, whereas City are pretty much the local side here. And it's the players from around the world that are dominating this derby. And it's Cantona and Kanchelskis in tandem again. The long ball to Cantona. He showed great composure. He wasn't hurried. He was under pressure from both sides, but he took a chance. He got half a yard on Terry Feeling, and that's all someone he... But look, he's battling there, he's battling with Volk. He keeps his composure, he gets a bit of luck off the goalkeeper, but I think a run like that, Martin, a drive like that deserves a little bit of luck. And that's a simple task. His season just gets better and better. Well, he'll be really relaxed now. As much as he ever is, well, I just came to play. <laughs> for City here, and still Manchester United's goal stays intact at Old Trafford. Only because of Gary Pallister, Martin. This is what you call defending from the big man. You watch this, it's a great run from Phelan, he picks out Walsh, but you watch Pallister. There's no way I'm conceding a goal here. That's a magnificent block. Short corner to Lomas. Beagle. Taken out of the situation by Ince. It's lovely play by Lomas to get the ball through to Phelan for the chance. The players will tell you it's just for three points. For the fans, it's so much more than that. And the vast majority here very happy indeed. Scholes. He managed to pick out Phelan between McClare and Captain well, Look how quickly they win it back, Martin. Great example, they give the ball away, but within seconds, they've won it back again. Here's Hughes, he's on his feet quickly, and it's 4-0! Ah, that's wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful. Lost the ball, you thought they were going to be defending, they won it back. And Roy Keane's appreciation here, Mark, to deliver an early ball in behind them. Where Hughes attacking it, Volk does the job there, but look how quickly he's to his feet. And when Tracy goes to ground, well, that was the invitation that Mark Hughes needed to quite coolly lift the ball over the goalkeeper and into the far corner. Look at this, has a look, down it goes, up it goes, it's four. The pace of the game has been quite magnificent. The 4-0 up, Martin, but any time I play against the ball, Walshie may have thought I'll get a bit of time on that as it's thrown up to me. But Steve Bruce was having none of it. Immediately out the back to press him, put him under pressure and win the ball back. Cantona. Oh, it. Hughes! Oh, oh dear, oh, dear. <laughs> Well, that would have taken some beating, that ball. That was quite wonderful. I think it hits a bobble here and sits up for Mark Hughes in, the, in his defence, Mark. It just gets off the ground and it hits his shin. And he's unlucky. Dennis Irwin, totally unselfish, could have taken a chance on himself. He does it sit up, just as he goes there, and there it is, off the shin. Six minutes to go. Walsh. for some of it. Be great. A oh, well stop. It was dipping under the bar definitely that time. But Schmeichel not letting his standards slip in the closing stages. He'll be happy to get something to do as well, Martin. He hasn't been brought into action very often in the match. And this is a comfortable save for him. It's not that Peter Beagle is good enough to test a goalkeeper from there. But that's quite comfortable for Peter Schmeichel to push over. Cantona, who is in his own half, and clearly onside. Kanchelskis is there. Andre Kanchelskis to give this the perfect finale. Yes! The cherry on the icing on the cake. 
Dukan Chelskis has three goals in a Manchester derby. The first Manchester United player to do that in this fixture since 1960. And it was such a light year it came to the mark again for his awareness. But Tracy does everything he can to keep him out. But Kinchelskis wasn't going to be stopped. And Manchester City, it's a short journey home, but they'll be going home with their tails very much between their legs. Well, they've looked across the road often in the last couple of years with envy at Manchester United. Martin, if they wanted a lesson on how far they've got to go, they've been given that tonight. It's the crowd bang for number six. <laughs> well, they can print the T-shirts, can't they? The old trap of pumping is complete. 5-0 for Manchester United. Yet another Derby Day victory for them, and what an emphatic one. Well, the scenes here reminiscent of that first night when the Premiership crown was presented a couple of years ago to Mark Hughes and company.